Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES here. You'll notice we have quite a bit of selling pressure already. We're down about 1.5% here today. We've seen selling pressure here where price dropped late in the day on Friday to close below the midpoint of the day's range, which suggests more weakness ahead. Now, the fact here that price has given out the previous month's midpoint is very important. As you recall, that previous month's midpoint, any failure to hold that level could open up a rotation down to the previous month's low price. That's all going to depend on this previous week's low here. Uh, and that previous week's low coming up for perhaps a test here pretty soon. If there's a test, there could be a rejection that could bounce this thing back up. Uh, again, we could still finish the day closed here above the previous month's midpoint and uh, be a bit strong here heading into the rest of the week. But it all kind of depends on what happens pretty soon. So the previous week's low is going to be very, very important. That's going to be the level to watch there. That previous week's low is 33.47 halves. And again, uh, a rejection of that zone could bounce this thing a bit, and a failure opens up clear air down to the previous month's low price, which is right at that 33.50 level. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. Quite a bit of pullback we've seen here to begin the month. Obviously, two strong days up. Uh, on this day right here, we talked about... Actually, it was this day, September 2nd, we held the monthly market outlook and mentioned that a pullback could be ahead. And I mentioned that the month of September on an election year since the year 2004, the S&P 500 has been down an average of 2.2% for the month. The ES is already down more than that for the month. You can see this pullback greater than that as well. We've had quite a tremendous pullback from those highs and are now through uh, the previous session's midpoint and are approaching the previous month's low. 11.142s is that low here. And uh, a failure there, again, continues to extend this thing downward. This blue line right here is the next level down. That's 10.845 half. That's the previous month's low. And we mentioned last week that if we give out the 11.5 here, if we take that out, then we open up the door to that lower level. That's 10.845 half. And again, that's the bottom of last month's range so we'd be giving it all back in about three to four days here depending on how this plays out so right now we still have the potential to see a move down into the previous month's low if so this could still be a spot to trap and perhaps return back up toward 11750 uh, but we have to see how this plays out right now this appears quite weak uh, but the previous week's low is going to be very important any rejection there could open the potential for a bounce back toward 11.5 for another retest of the previous week's close. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Now, crude oil is down about 6 plus percent today. This is the one that really opened up to the downside here with some major selling pressure. As you recall, we had a significant high range day a few days back. If you bring this down to one day right here, It'll measure each of these ranges on one day. That day right there, that day right there was this day. And at the time, the range was so compressed here, like this. I mentioned that it re re really reminded me of this day back here, where you're going to see a big move down uh, here. And then perhaps you could see a bounce up, I mentioned as well. But overall, what I mentioned that day was, after the day happened, that this was a 200% of ADR day, as measured by my Pivot Boss Advanced ADR Indicator. And that 200% of ADR day suggests that once you see a range of that magnitude, you will tend to see big days like that over the course of the next week or perhaps a couple of weeks. And you can see how each of those days has been bigger, uh, except for the range that followed. It was slightly lower, but the rest of the two days here already bigger. Today's range already over 200% of ADR today, 213% of average. That's tremendous. So we've clearly gotten an impulse sell-off right now impulse sell-off that's underway as soon as we find a strong low there could be an easy bounce back to the midpoint of that range and now we have ourselves a key range so right now we're, we are looking for further weakness ahead until major signs of rejection occur 
That may not happen until 35s. We have a clear LVN right there. That thing could dip into these LV, LVN 35s and bounce. And that could give us a bounce back up. Um, you know, between 35 and 43, you're looking at a move into about uh, 39s as a move back into the LVN and also the midpoint of that sell-off. So we'll see how much more selling pressure we see here ahead. But right now, this market very, very weak without showing signs of rejection just yet. 35 may be the next stop down where rejection could be seen. So whenever we do see that day of rejection, it could be a great bounce back to the middle of that range. Okay, let's take a look lastly at gold futures. This one's down about nearly eight tenths of a percent right now. Testing support in the 1910 uh, zone. It got as low as 1912s, 1912.40 so far this morning is the low of the day. Uh, I mentioned before the head and shoulder pattern here that played out in the 60 minute time frame, which I don't call out very often, but that was very, very clearly defined with very clear uh, break levels above 19. 90 and below 1960. 1960 opened up, as I mentioned before, the 1910 level, 1908 to 1910. Today's low, 1912, and has continued it in that path as it's below this uh, 1960 level right here. So that was the breakdown point. It held on a couple of days and now fulfilling the downside target here into those 1910s, uh, getting very close to 1912s here. So again, you can see that this thing is range bound. What I mentioned before, we might go as low as 1900 even, which is right there. Uh, but we're still basically inside the range, right? We're, we're still trading between 1900 and 2000 until proven otherwise. We're at the center of this larger key range here and we're building energy. And soon this market will see another big phase of expansion. Remember, we have um, this key range that is developed off that impulse move here. And that upside key range target puts this thing up toward 2300, 2304 as the 100% target. So we may still see a move into 2400 with 2200 and 2100 uh, or 2090 right there being the next major targets above. But it starts with rejecting something down here. Is it going to reject 1900? Do we have to come below that low and trap into the 1830 to 1850 zone? That would be about the best buy on the board if this were to drop as deep as 1830. That could provide a bounce opportunity all the way across the range toward 2300 down the road. So again, we will see how this continues to play out. But overall, uh, this market remains bullish until proven otherwise. It continues to hold the 1830 LVN. It's building a tremendous amount of energy here inside this key range. And eventually that key range will release that energy. We'll see a pretty big move ahead again with the potential to see as high as 2304s down the road. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.